He can actually use the computer below the bed. This is so freaking dope, guys. Oh. Hey everyone, it's Pixel8 here and welcome back to the channel. So today is a very exciting day because bunk beds are finally here. Bunk beds have finally come to The Sims 4. Yes, they are in custom content form, but we won't talk about that. I mean, EA is probably not gonna give us bunk beds anyways, guys. Let's just stop getting our hopes up at this point. But wow, they are finally here and they are available now for free download. You guys can all grab them. I'm gonna read you guys a series of tweets and some posts from no other than the creator themselves, as well as dive into the game and give you guys a little overview slash review of them. But now before we get into anything, I have comment of the day, of course. And today's comment of the day isn't just going to one person, it is going to two people. I did pick the comment of the day, but then I saw another comment that was just way too good for me to pass up. So the first one, Avery Scott, I really like the rebrand. It's like the acoustic pixelate. And I wanted to include this because that is exactly what I was going for. Not only happy that you noticed, but happy that you're feeling the vibe of the new look as well. Thank you so much for that comment. The second comment of the day goes to Sonya A. I have no idea what this is about, but Pixelate is posting it, so it must be good. I was inspired by you to make a YouTube channel, and I wanted to thank you for that. You are my favorite YouTuber ever, and I don't know what I would do without your channel. That means so much to me. Thank you so, so much for that comment. All right, guys, without further ado, let's dive on into things. So I'm a little late with this one. Panda Sama Sims 4 CC is the creator of this mod, by the way, or custom content, whatever you want to call it. This was tweeted earlier this morning, but there was a lot of news today and I already had videos scheduled to be published, so it's coming late. I'm sorry. But they tweeted, the basic bunk bed can now be downloaded for free on my Patreon. Full release notes on Reddit. So of course, first we're going to start off on Reddit for the full release notes of the CC. The two main highlights of this bunk bed are one, custom animation, animation for getting in and out of the top bunk, and two, you could put anything under the bunk bed and still have everything functional. Yes, it's true. My preview of this CC received from a few weeks ago received a lot of attention. It honestly freaked me out a little bit, lol. I simply did not expect it to get this much reaction. So as promised, the basic bunk bed can now be downloaded for free on my Patreon. They do include a link, of course, and I will provide a link for you guys to download pinned in the comment section below. The free version of the bunk bed contains four files as the frame and beddings are in separate pieces so that people can mix and match as they like. In the preview video, you can see one of the bunk beds has a shelving unit which you can place small and medium decorations. That one is currently exclusive for my patrons for both $1 and $3 tier. I really enjoy making functional CC and I'm hoping I can turn this into a full time work, but I won't be able to do so without your help. So if you enjoy what I made, please consider supporting me. I would really appreciate it. I'm trying not to write a giant paragraph, but I've got so much to say. Though my last Reddit post, I got too connected with Ravashin. She has been so welcoming and open to me and has shared a lot of valuable experience and resources with me. I do not think anyone as established as she is would care about a newbie like me, but she has been so kind to me and she is so humble. I think I am in love, y'all. We stand humble mod creators. We really do. My next CC will be a bunk bed for kids and toddlers. Yes, I am so excited for that one. I am aiming for the end of the month to have it released. It will be released first to my patrons, then the general public at a later date. After that, I have a lot of ideas for things I want to make. Things like arcade machines that let you earn tickets in exchange for hidden prizes, sewing machines that lets you make unique clothing, llama that you can interact, harvest wool from, ice cream truck, diet diving board, etc. Holy crap, EA ain't got nothing on you. But I'm interested in hearing what you guys want as well. What is something you really want in The Sims 4? My skills are limited and I still have a lot to learn, but if something interests me, I am willing to put in all the hard work necessary to make it happen. If you would like to remodel or recolor any of my CC, you may release your version seven days after the public release date. In 
in this case it will be seven days from when this post is made and please credit me correctly by providing a link to my patreon this post or any of my social media accounts please do not redistribute re-upload in any way follow me somewhere to get notified when my exclusive content goes free they do provide of course instagram tumblr and twitter links which i will also include down in the comment section below with the patreon post and download link so now to the patreon post basic bunk bed download free version if you already are a patron of mine you don't need to download this version the other patron only package contains everything included here plus the exclusive bed oh i do want to say thank you so much panda did reach out to me to give me my own link for this bunk bed i don't know what version it is i don't know if it's this free version or if it includes the exclusive bed but we are going to be diving into whatever was sent to me so super excited for that the package can be downloaded in the attachment under this post. If you don't have a patron account, you can download it by clicking on this link. The download might have started automatically if a page doesn't pop up. Make sure you read the instructions included in the zip file. It contains some tips on placing objects under the bunk bed. If you have not used custom content before, you can check out how to install them here. The mattress and the frame are in separate pieces so that you can mix and match, and I love when custom content creators do that, giving us lots of variety and options. Once installed, you can find the bunk beds by searching bunk bed or Panda Sama in the search bar. Make sure you use free object placement when placing the bottom bunk because it doesn't tend to snap correctly. If you run into any problems or think you discovered a bug, feel free to send me a DM. I will look into it. So right below that, of course, is the download link, public bunk bed 0716.zip. Just click on that and it will automatically download to your downloads folder or wherever you specify it to download. So next, basically, you're going to place all of those packaged files into your mods folder that's located in your documents folder, electronic arts, and in mods. And afterwards, it should look something like this. This is the version that was sent to me by Panda. So I don't know if this is the exclusive one or if this is the free one. I have no clue. This is just what was sent to me. So I appreciate you reaching out to me and providing me with a download. But for me, in my case, it is five package files. When placing objects below the bunk bed, you cannot place object right next to the ladder or your sims won't be able to access the bed. You can avoid this by moving the object slightly in any direction. So it's okay if you place it a little bit away from the ladder in either direction. So of course, to the right or behind it, but do not place it directly next to it or directly in front or directly diagonal to the ladder. Your Sims will not be able to use that. Please remember. But I love the little shelving unit. That's so cute. You can put like your decor items and stuff up there. All right, guys, that is going to do with the little overview portion and download tutorial or mini download tutorial, I guess. Let's jump into the game and give this a shot and see how it works. Oh, I'm so excited for this part, guys. I've been waiting for this day forever. All right, you guys, welcome back. We are now in game. So let's go into build by mode. I don't have any other custom content, so this is gonna be super easy for me to find. I'm just gonna sort by custom content and boom, there we go. So right here we have bottom bunk frame. You better make it match the top bunk. Bottom bunk frame, so this is the mattress part of it. Basic bunk bed frame. Bunk plus bed equals bunk bed. Here's the mattress for that. And it looks like this is the exclusive one with the shelves, a bunk bed and a shelving unit. One to fall asleep next to your favorite childhood toy, a picture of your crush, magic crystals, framed picture of a random fruit, some Kleenex, you got it. You guys probably recognize this house. I've used this house a lot in many of my videos. This is actually my current household. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to delete the bed that they are currently using. And first we're going to try out the basic bunk bed and frame. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Okay, first things first. I'm realist i'm gonna go ahead and grab myself a saucer light these are like my favorite lights in the whole wide world don't even get me started on them i also don't know if they're gonna be able to use the bed with the lights being there interesting interesting question so there we go guys there is the bed let's go back to objects here and go under all categories so here's the bottom bunk we can place this part right down here i think it goes doesn't matter which way it goes there's like no arrow for it i don't know if this is facing the right way or not i guess it doesn't matter does it yeah, probably not. I'm just gonna place this right under. Oh, it's not even. Is that gonna be a problem, guys? It's not even. Oh, it's a little, look at it. See, it's a little off. The green squares are like off-centered from the bunk bed. 
Huh. I hope that's not an issue. I'm a little concerned. I don't know if that's going to be an issue. I can hold down the alt key and I can arrange it myself. I just hope that that won't turn out to be an issue in the long run. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this placed. Just going to move it just so it's even by pressing the alt key. Here goes the mattresses, of course. Oh, I have to move this too. All right, we'll move this over here. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if that's a bug or a glitch, but um, I'm hoping that the Sims will still be able to use the bed with no problem. And of course, here is the top mattress. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Let's see what some of the variants look like. So of course we have this one. Oh, we have a lighter blue. I love that. Oh, that's really cool. Like pixelation, light pink flowers, and some blue bubbles, polka dots, whatever you want to call them. We're going to go ahead and do this one. I really like this one. And I think we can change the variation of the bed. Yep, we can. We have the dark wood. We have this blue. We have a tan and we have a white. You guys already know. I'm just going to go with the white. Oh, that looks so freaking cool, guys. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's go into the game. Let's see how this works. I'm going to send my Sims here and we're just going to check this out. I don't even know where they are. Where are you guys currently at? He's half asleep down there. She's currently coming in from outside. All right, you guys can come upstairs. All right, first things first, you can go sleep on the top bunk and I'm going to have her sleep on the bottom bunk. Let's see how this works, guys. He changes. He comes over. Oh, and he goes up. Oh, this is so freaking cool. Okay, so it works fine. So even though we had to like rearrange the bottom bunk, even though it was kind of weird, it still works perfectly fine. So never mind. I take back what I said about me not knowing how I feel. I know exactly how I feel and I feel perfectly fine. As long as it's functional, as long as it works, I'm a-okay. It is pretty nice when it does snap perfectly. That way you don't have to worry about making it even. I'm like one of those perfectionist people. So if it's like a little too close to this side and not enough on this side, then I move it and it just needs to be perfect. So that's why I like when things automatically snap because I know it's perfect, but it still works and it looks pretty close to me. So that's all that matters. All right, I'm gonna have you wake up out of your bed. You can wake up out of your bed. So he comes down like this. This is so freaking cool. Oh my freaking gosh. Girl, get up. I get that you're tired, but you can't be sleeping all day. Okay, I don't even know if this is a glitch or not. Huh, normally Sims wake up right away after you tell them. That could be a glitch or it actually just could be the game. It probably isn't even a glitch with the CC because I don't know about you guys, but my Sims game has been super duper buggy lately and it's been so embarrassing. Like I can't even play my game. That's how bad the bugs and glitches have been since not only the last patch update, the last two patch updates and the last expansion pack. Okay, I'm gonna show up now and we're going to change things around and try the other bunk bed variation custom content we are going to take away the um, top bunk portion and replace it with the bunk bed frame plus yes i didn't like oh my god this is even better guys guys i recommend that you go download this give them your money right now give this cc creator your money please this is literally Perfect. I'm going to move this over a little bit just because it doesn't look, you know, perfectly even. And I'm going to change this top part back to white. And let's try to place some stuff on top of it now. Let's go into decor items and into clutter. Let's see if we can place some tissues. Yup, we could put some tissues. Um, We have a vase plant. We can put that if we want. Maybe some toothbrushes. Oh my gosh, there's two shelves I can use. That's freaking cool. We can put some letters here. Pretend like, you know, his bills are stacking up. Put some valentine. Valentine's Day cards over there if we wanted to. Pictures. Heck, even salt and pepper shakers. I'm down with that. Body care essentials. We'll put some of those up there. Soap dispensers. Why not? Pencil holders. We can definitely do that. I know that he loves to write in his journal at night. And maybe some candles or on my outer room. I think I'm out of room. What I'm going to do is delete one of these piles of letters. And yup, I can even put candles. Look at how amazing this is. Freaking iconic. Now let's see if our Sims can sleep in the beds with no problems. So I'm going to have him climb up into his bunk here. She can go ahead and sleep like normal and we'll see how things look. He was going to switch into his clothes, but he's already in his night clothes. And look at that. It works out perfectly. No issues, no glitches. All of the objects aren't clipping. Everything is fully functional. I give this literally a 10 out of 10. There's literally nothing negative that I can say about this, especially because it's free. Not this version that you're seeing here with the shelves, but the other version is completely free. Wow. I am for sure going to put this in all of my rooms, in all of my save files. And if I ever do future Let's Plays, I will be using this more than any other 
another bed most likely. I noticed that he can actually hide journal, sit, nap on the bottom bunk, but up top he can only sleep. And that makes sense because it's gonna be a lot harder to do those other things because they require other animations. So I can totally understand the top bunk not being able to do all of those things, but maybe that could be in addition with like a future update to this mod or whatnot. So that's still pretty cool. I'm gonna have him go back to sleep. I'm gonna have her get up and just have her hide her journal and see if the other animations work perfectly fine with this one here, which they probably, will. I don't even know if there is an animation for this, is there? Oh, there is, and look, works perfectly fine. How does napping work on the bottom bunk? Yep, napping works like normal. And let's see, yep, sitting works like normal too. That is freaking dope. Oh, oh my God, I'm sitting here about to go and I wanted to try out one more thing, putting objects below. It is confirmed that you can do that, so let's go ahead and give that a shot. We can put desks, we can put computers, and I think that they are fully functional as well. So I don't know what kind of table is gonna work, best down here for that, but um, we can just throw something down here. I don't even care. Actually, I'm gonna take this away and replace this with another desk. If there's a longer one, then I'm definitely gonna choose that. No, there isn't. I'm just gonna do this one and I'm gonna slide it over just a little bit so it's even right there. Perfect. We'll grab a chair. We'll put this one there and of course a computer, but we are out of money, so we're gonna ka it a little bit. We'll do it twice. Put a computer in even. Grab some random clutter items just for craps and giggles. I'll put a picture frame right here. All right, let's test this out. I'm gonna go ahead and have, I forgot her name for a second. Liza can go top bunk and you can actually email your professors about progress for Fish Dish, one of his current university classes. And yes, he can actually use the computer below the bed. This is so freaking dope, guys. Oh, I love this. So cool. Share your thoughts on this down in the comment section below. This is just so freaking cool. Want to give a huge shout out to the mod creator. Thank you, thank you so much for putting your time and effort into this. We appreciate you mod creators and custom content creators and all you guys that spend hours and days and weeks and sometimes even months making things like this for the game and for the community. Thank you, we appreciate you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it entertaining and informative and I hope you will go and download this. A link is in the comment section below. It's pinned at the very top so you cannot miss it. Give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And don't forget to ding the bell next to the subscribe button to receive notifications for any type of future upload on the channel so that you can be a part of the notification squad. You can follow me on social media. That includes Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitch, and much more. Links are down below. All right, guys, I will see you all next time. Happy simming. Bye everyone.